Hello, this is group number one, and this is our program simulation for our address book program. When we first run our program, we come across our features menu, which includes an option to exit our program, an option to add contact, search contact, edit contact, delete contact, list contact, and to save our work. So first we are prompted to select an option. I'm going to begin by selecting our list contact so that we know what we are working with. Upon here, we see that this is our first contact, Anna. So I'm gonna click end so we can go to our next contact. You see Kevin, Ariel, and Toast. Now you see, whenever I press end, it goes back to Toast, which means that this is our last contact on our address book. So I'm just gonna click Q so I can quit, go back to our features menu. Now I'm going to want to add a new contact, so I'm gonna choose option number one. I'm going to want to add a name, I'm going to call him Danny, a phone number, and an email. Now that I have all this information, I'm going to want to go back to our main menu, so I'm going to choose option zero, which is to go back. Before I go back to our features menu, you'll see that Danny's information is now included and you see it's here in numbers five so i'm going to press q to quit and go back now that i've added him i'm going to want to search through my contacts just to make sure that i can so i'm going to start searching by name look up anna and his information is there and quit i'm going to want to search by phone number so let's say i remember danny's phone number but i don't remember anything else so now that I searched through his phone number, you can see that it comes back with all of his contact information. So I'm going to press Q so that I can search by an email. Let's say I have an email, but I don't remember who it's from. So I'm going to look through toast at gmail.com. shows me Toast's information and all his phone numbers. I'm going to quit. Now I'm going to want to search through a serial number. So I know that Kevin's my second, but I don't remember how to spell his name. There you go, search by serial number and all of Kevin's information pops up. So I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna go back so I can go back to our features menu. Now that I've searched through our contacts, now I'm gonna want to edit my contacts. So I'm gonna search by name. I know that Anna's name's A, but I want to select it because her name's actually Anne. I'm gonna select, I'm gonna select the number, I'm gonna change my name, so I'm gonna Anna's name and it's going to be Anne. Now that I've changed her name, you can see that option number one has changed. So now that I'm done editing her name, I'm going to want to edit her phone number. So it shows that I can choose any phone number that I want. So the first one's okay because that's her phone number, her home phone number. But now I'm going to want to add a cell phone number. So I'm going to press two. I'm going to add a new number. So now you see that I've added a new phone number and it's in slot number two. So now her email, she has her school email, but I want a second email for her. So I'm going to do, let's say she has a Gmail. And now it's added. So now I'm gonna go back because I'm done editing her. So I'm gonna go back, go back to features menu. And now that I've edited it, I'm going to want to delete a contact because I just don't need it anymore. So I'm going to choose option number four. I'm going to search by name. Name's Ariel. This is Ariel's information. So this is the person I want to delete from my address book. So I'm going to select. It's going to select a number. I'm going to select serial number number three. And now it's gone. So now if I want to search I'm going to look for Ariel. She will no longer be available. So now I'm going to go back. So now that I've deleted, now let's go through our list contacts again. So there's Anne. Shows all the edits we've made to hers. It shows Kevin, Danny's, which we added, and Toast. Now I'm going to quit. Quit. 
and then I'm going to want to save this information. So once it's saved, it's going to go to our .csv file, which shows all of our contact information to better see what's going on in this file. I'm going to add a, I'm going to add Ariel back. I'm just going to add her name. Now that I've added the contact, I'm going to press save, and it shows that Ariel is back. But now let's say I want to delete. And I want to see how deleting it changes to my .csv file. I'm going to search by name, and I'm going to delete ands. So all of this, I'm going to delete, select, and then select serial number number one. Now she's gone. So now that we want to save, oh, sorry, we're going to go back, and we're going to want to save our work. You'll see that, and it is gone from our contact list. And we only have four contacts lists back, so that's all I want to do. And now I'm done. So this is our end of our presentation.